Welcome back to Goldfish U. So today's job, as you will see, we're not in our garden, but today's job is to rescue some fish. Now apparently there's some fish in here. So first off we're going to set the pump up and start pumping it out. Uh, the customer's getting rid of the pond, as you can see, it's very green. So I don't know what's in here, but I am assured there are fish in here somewhere. So we've got a pump, ready to go. Assorted bowls, bags, whatever. Nets. So let's get the pump in and we'll start. Now, my pump is one of these fancy ones, but I do find that it sucks up the fish if you're not careful, so that's why I put netting around it and it stops that from happening. Right, so we'll get that plugged in, get it in the water, and I'll be right back. Right, we have it down to a level. We've caught one. As you can see, there's loads more in here, but the pump won't suck it any further. It's a black one over there. So, what we're going to have to do, there's one there, just see its tail. What we're going to have to do is handball it out now. But all we're doing is rescuing the fish. Nothing else with this pond for today. Right. Let's get the water down a bit further and we'll see what we got. So that's all the fish out. I'm not cleaning the pond because it's going to get knocked down. So I'll take most of the sludge out, we'll leave it there like that. Uh, we've got about four goldfish, can't see, and about 15, 16 mud. We're just going to take them home now and put them in that so we can see what we've got. Alright, I'll show you when we get back. But that's where we're going to leave it. Just like that, quite a state, there was no filter on it, I said it's being knocked down, so it was just going and get the collect the fish today. Quite a nice pond, really, apart from the design, and it's a cheap old liner, but hey, it's been up for a while. Anyway, I'll catch you when we get back, and we'll show you what we got. Alright, let us. Right, so we just got home, the fish are floating in their bags. See how dirty the water is. You can just see the, the rud in there. It's about 14, I think. And we get some goldfish in this one. There we go. So we're going to go in this tub for the time being. We'll leave them to float. And then we'll get them out. We're not putting the water in. And then we'll get some filtration on there. When it stops raining, because at the minute it's raining. Anyway, I'm going to go in because we've got BT man here. So I'll add new phones and we'll give them half an hour or so. Alright, ladies. Alright, so as you can see, four goldfish. There we go, not too bad. That's all. I think it's, I think it's three males and female. We just came out of a pond. I'll show you the red in a second when I get them out. But they don't look too bad at all. Obviously, we've got to be quarantined for some time if we're going to sit in this tub. I've still got to put a filter on it, which I'll do in a minute. Um, but yeah, so they're going to go in there, which I'll do now. Let me just stand you up. Camera back up. Right, now for the fun and games. Because these are quite feisty. These are. Let's put the bag down there. See how green that water is. They're not used to being seen at all. Right, I can't do this one handed. So let's put the camera down. Second. And get right back here. There we go. 
they look in good condition. All different sizes. Let's see, that's a goldfish in there. I think. Oops, Daisy. Yeah, that's a goldfish. That's a goldfish. I can go with those. They're all going the same tub anyway. You see what I mean? They're very skittish. Take. <laughs> But considering the state of the pond, and they have no filtration on it, no pump, nothing, they've done all right. Beautiful red on the fins. Oh, there we go, look at that. Beautiful red. Come here, fish. Beautiful red on the fins. There we go. Right, we'll stop annoying them, and we'll put them in the vat with the goldfish. So there we go, got some red. Yeah. Anyway, stop annoying them. Let's put them in. We're going to put the phone down for a second. And put it over there. Probably the first picture in the world. I'm just going to let the water go because the water came out here in the first place. And this tank's been sat there overnight. And it was water for water from the water bit so it wasn't in the tap or anything. There we go, all the fish are in there. Now they're going to live in here for a couple of weeks just so I can monitor them before we decide what we're doing with them. The big goldfish will probably go down to the back and the red, I'm not too sure what we're going to do. We may put them in there but it means emptying what's in there. I think the big goldfish are going to go down the back here. <sighs> Another wet day in the UK. Main pond's looking terrible. Here's some babies. I haven't seen those ones before. And I think they're going to go in here. Well, they're definitely going to go in here. Now this one's a bit foamy still. But they all seem to be fine. I'll get rid of our foam in a day or so. Oh, they think it's feeding time. Now yeah, there's a mix of goldfish and shabumkins in here. Because shabumkins were getting a bit too big to live where they were. So, anyway, that's where the goldfish are going to go. And these are selling bats, as you already know. Yeah, if I had that pond finished, they could have gone in there, but the red, but I haven't. Sure, they can't. Anyway, if anyone wants some red, I've got some. Uh, just hook me up and I'll leave the video there. Ignore the mess, I've got to sort it out. Oh, the other thing I have got, if anyone wants, what he's looking for, is two filters I think I'm get, of getting rid of. These two here, I've got one here and one down the back there. If I can open it, one handy. Just needs a clean, which I'll do before you you pick it up. They have been pee peed, but they just need a clean. All in working, working order. The only thing, there's no sponges inside, but they've been done because they were manky, and there's no UV ball. No, and I can supply that if you want to, if you want me to. Uh, on that note, I'll leave the video there, and I'll get back to the next one. I'll give you a progress update on these fish, probably in a couple of weeks time. Well, we see if they've got any parasites or anything on them. All right, wait us.